All right, cadets, Dr. Cook here. I just wanted to give you an example of how we log into our Blackboard Collaborate space that we're going to be using for class. Um, so on your screen, you can see uh, Blackboard. What I, all I did was log in at usma.blackboard.com, give it my credentials, and then select our course, and it took me here. Uh, I've updated our homepage to be the announcements list, and I'll try and keep those updated. What we're looking for is in the menu on the left hand side there's a new one for online learning space so you just click on that and then i'll open up our blackboard collaborate ultra menu and it'll show you uh, a list of the uh, video sessions that are available uh, i will reconfigure this before class on friday to set us up right now i'm configured for our um, communications testing so you find the one you want in this case i want an example test session and you click on it and it'll open up uh, this pop out. Now, if you don't have speakers or microphone uh, on your computer, there is dial in capability and you can dial this phone number and give it your pin uh, and it will provide you uh, into the audio that way. And then you can just use the computer for the visuals. Um, but all we have to do is click on this join session and it's going to open the collaborate uh, in a new window. Now, because I came in through Blackboard, you notice it already had my name there. It knew who I was. And I'll remember that uh, each time we come in. If you follow a link uh, into the room, it might ask you for your name. Uh, just a quick orientation to some of the controls here on the bottom. Um, there is one for audio and one for video, which are both muted at the moment. So I can click that to unmute and it'll show me my video so I can confirm that it's working and hit share. And then uh, on the audio, I can click share audio and you'll notice that the little uh, volume is going up and down as I talk. Um, all right, beyond that, uh, there's so a good video that I've shared on Blackboard about how to use the Collaborate tool that Blackboard made. So please watch that about how to use this once we're in here. Uh, and then once our sessions are over, you can just uh, X out of this to leave. Now, for those who maybe can't participate, if there's something from class you want to review later, uh, when we come into this Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, it defaults to showing us the sessions, but there is a little hamburger menu right here. If we click on that, uh, we also have the option to see the recordings. We are going to be recording classes um, about it seemed like it took a few minutes after things ended. Um, I don't know with a longer class of an hour long, if that'll take longer, but it took about five minutes before some of these short uh, test sessions uploaded. But um, if you come in after class and look for the recordings, it's the hamburger menu, click recordings, and then all the recordings are right here. So you can find the one for the class session that you want. It shows you the name of the room along with the date and time that they were conducted at and how long they are. You can click on those, click watch now, and it will then open up a new tab and load up the recording. And then there's normal uh, player controls down at the bottom that you can follow, hit play, you can pause uh, and cycle through all the times on this and rewatch the video later. So that's how we get into Blackboard Collaborate Ultra to find our class and how to get into finding the recordings. Um, if those completely fail, uh, we can send out a link. So you can go to a new tab and paste in the link that was sent out and that will load right up. But in that case, you're gonna have to give it a name in order to join. Please use a, um, please use, use your first and last name so we can take attendance to know who's there. And then you just click join session. That will get you into the same thing. All right. Have a great day and see you in class.